in this video i'm going to show you how to create a yield planner in word this is the exact same planner we are going to create by the end of this tutorial i'll even show you a bonus tip if you watch to the end of the tutorial and the bonus tip is that i'm going to show you how you can save your word document as a template so that each time you want to use your yield planner you just go ahead and open up the template and save it as a new document so if you want to learn how to create a yield planner in word keep watching hello guys this is online office teacher where i help you manage your data and information through online video just like this one so if you are new here consider subscribing that said let's get started having open word the first thing i'm going to do is change the layout of my document so i go over to the layout tab and i click on orientation and i choose landscape next i go ahead and reduce my margin that is the space in between this edge to where I have my insertion points as you can see on the ruler up here and also at the left hand side so to decrease the margin that is the top bottom left and right I go over to margins and I choose narrow as you can see my margins are now reduced now if you cannot see the ruler on top and at left side click on view and make sure ruler is checked the next thing I'm going to do is go ahead and insert a table. So I go over to the insert tab, then I click on table, I click on insert table. Number of columns, I make it six. Since I want to have six months on one page, and then the number of rows, I make it 32. And I go ahead and click on OK. And my table is inserted. Next, I increase the height of my rows. So I select the entire table. Then I go over to layout and the table tools. The height is currently 0.48 centimeters. I just click on it, then I enter 0.55. Then I hit enter key on the keyboard. Scrolling down, you see that I have two pages. I don't want two pages. So what I'm going to do is decrease the margin right here. So to decrease it, I go over to the ruler here and make sure you hover in between the gray portion and then the white portion click and drag down a bit perfect now you see that i have only one page next i go over to the top row that is on the first cell then i enter the month starting from january perfect next i change the alignment of the month so i highlight everything then i go over to layout currently it is set to align top left i choose align center the next thing i'm going to do is go ahead and enter the days of the month starting from january so i click down here So I've entered the days of the month starting from 1 up to 31. So the next thing I'm going to do is repeat the same process for the rest of the months. And in order not to type them again, I'll just highlight everything to the end. Then I can press Ctrl plus C on the keyboard to copy. Then I go ahead and click under February. Then I press Ctrl plus V to paste. One other technique I can use to paste is that I can highlight the whole of these rows. That is where I want to have the numbers that I'll go ahead and paste. Perfect. You see that all my days start from 1 and ends at 31. Meanwhile, some of the months does not end on the 31st day. So I go through the months and remove the days that do not end on 31st. Perfect. Next, I'm going to apply some shading to my cells on top here. So I highlight all the top rows. Then I go over to table design and the shading. I drop down the colors and I can go ahead and choose the color I want. So I choose this green. And I can also change the case of my text to uppercase. So I go over to home. And I click on change case. Choose uppercase. The next thing I'm going to do is go ahead and duplicate the table. So I select the entire table by clicking on the cross icon right here. Then I go over to home and click on copy. Going down. 
I click under the table, then I hit enter key on the keyboard, then I go ahead and click on paste or control plus G key on the keyboard. Now I have two pages. Let me zoom out and I'll go ahead and change the months. So down here below, I need to go ahead and enter the days I've removed for the first table. So now if you are not going to work on weekends, all what you need to do is go ahead and shade out all the weekends. So I'm assuming that I'm making this calendar for the year 2022. So I'll go ahead and check my calendar. So here you see that the month starts on Saturday. So first and second will fall on weekends. So what I'm going to do is I highlight day one and two and I'll go over to table design and the shading. Maybe I can provide a lighter color. Perfect. And to get the rest of the weekends, all what you need to do is count five days out. So from three, one, two, three, four, five. The fifth day will fall on seventh, meaning eighth and ninth will fall on weekends. So I just go ahead and choose my shading color. So I'll do the same thing for the rest of the days pretty quick and get back to you. All right, I've made all the shadings and now the design of my planner is done. The last thing I'm going to show you is how you can save it as a template so that each time you want to use this, you can go ahead and open up the template and save it as a fresh document. So to do that, I go over to file, then I click on save as, I'll click on documents and then save as type. I change it to web template and my default folder for saving web template is the custom office template, which is inside the documents folder. So the file name, I enter yellow planner. Then I'll go ahead and hit save. So that's it on how you can save your Word document as a template. So that's it on how to create a yearly planner in Word. I hope this video was helpful. If you found value, kindly hit the like button, subscribe and also enable the notification bell so that you miss out on future videos. Keep watching and I'll see you in the next one.